Welcome to my guide on how to add works to your ALCS account. First of all, you'll need to log in. If you're having trouble entering the correct password, you can click the eye icon and it will show you what you're typing in. Once you've logged in, you can view your most recently added works on the landing page of your account. And you can click see all to view a full list and add more works. You can view the different types of works you've already added to your account by toggling between the books, magazines and journals, scripts and websites and blogs tabs. To add a new book onto your account, click the add work button. When filling out the form, any field with an asterisk is information that we need. ISBN and ISSN numbers are now automatically validated by the system. So if an error message comes up, then you need to double check that you've typed it correctly. Here is where you can select your contribution type. So that's author, editor, translator, or visual contributor. You can also select which writing name you'd like this work to be attributed to. The copyright notice will be automatically selected when you're adding works. This just lets us know that even if you only wrote a chapter for a book, you own the copyright to your contribution or you have an agreement in place with your publisher to receive secondary royalties from ALCS. You can also let us know if you've worked with a co-author on this book, in which case we'd ask you to encourage them to sign up as an ALCS member if they haven't already. Once you've finished, you can click add and you'll see the confirmation message. Another way of adding books is to use the search function. Here, you can enter your book's title or ISBN number. When you find your work, you can click select and this will auto populate the works form. You'll still need to select your contribution type and your writing name. If you use the search function and you can't find your book, don't worry. It just means that it's not on our database yet. You can just add your book manually as we went through before. Once you've finished, you can click add and you'll see the confirmation message. To add an article, you'll need to populate all the fields in this form. You'll also need to know the rough word count of your article. Remember, ISBN and ISSN numbers are now automatically validated by the system. So if an error message comes up, then you need to double check that you've typed it correctly. If an error message appears when you type in your ISSN number, this might also mean that it isn't a valid UK ISSN. As part of our article scheme, you can only claim for contributions to UK-based publications that have been published in the last three years. So make sure to double check that this is the case for your submission. Once you've finished, you can click add and you'll see the confirmation message. There's also a search function in the article section. This will help you find the publication you write for if you can't remember the ISSN number. Once you've searched for the publication, you can click the written button to add a written contribution. When using this function, you'll still need to add in your title and some other details.
As before, once all the fields have been filled out, you can add your work by clicking Add. Remember, when adding books and articles to your account, the website will now automatically reject ISVNs or ISSNs if they are incorrect, so make sure to double check that you're inputting the correct information. All scripts should be added manually. There's no search function for them. Adding a script is quite straightforward. You just need to make sure you're populating all the fields that have an asterisk. There's also some very specific information you'll need to provide, such as the channel it was aired on, the original transmission date and the year of production, as well as the length of the programme. Like when you're adding other works, once you've finished, you can click add and you'll see the confirmation message. A new addition to the work section of the members area is websites and blogs. If you own a website or have written an article for someone else's website and you have a written credit for it, we'd like you to tell us about it. This is currently a data collecting exercise, so we won't be paying out for these kinds of works at the moment. You'll have to add these details manually. There's no search function for them. All you need to do is enter the URL for your work, including the HTTPS at the beginning, and provide the title of the work. If you add a website or blog that you own, you can tick the I own this website box, which will opt them into the Copyright Licensing Agency licensing scheme, which we may pay out for in the future. Something to be aware of when adding your works to this section of the members area is that each submission must have a unique URL. If you do not change the URL of your submission and try to add another article, your first submission will be overwritten. Once you've finished, you can click add and you'll see the confirmation message. And that concludes our video on how to add works to your ALCS account.